Once a month or so, we invite Inform Designs consultant Rupert Grant to Studio 4 to show off the latest, greatest designs from his Inform universe. Today being Earth Day, he's thinking sustainability without the crunchy granola. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, no. Well, you're so dapper. You're just not, we, we just wanna, not crunchy it, granola. We really want to sort of be stepping beyond that, sort of like, mm -hmm. oh, do we, we really have to get back to something so grassroots? It should just sort of be, um, like, there's bamboo should be really like the modern day plastic we really need to just sort of just move forward on that well the modern day eco design is so hot yeah so you can be cool and modern and edgy and environmental but i don't want to always think about it i just want it to just sort of be there and it just exactly is. Yeah. you don't have to ask the questions what's yeah. the glue made from yeah uh, these uh, what are these these are beautiful these are some blankets. I mean, they're blankets this is from new zealand and in new zealand you know new zealand wool you know that's you know, that makes yes. sense to us. Um, yeah. It's a, a company called Stansboro. Uh, they make these lovely blankets. They're really, really well priced because our Canadian so dollar like is a monster in New Zealand. Oh, we like that. So yeah. it's like they're only like, they start at like 260 and they're extremely fine. They're made from the only herd of gray sheep in the world. So they're generally always, there's a, there's a tone of gray through them. I noticed. I see that, yeah. So yes, yeah, very of, astute of you to notice that too. <laughs> there is a tone of gray. Most of they're them are hand-woven, of course. They're just beautiful. And this is done. This is the, like one of the most beautiful places on earth. This Stansboro mm -hmm. uh, farm, where they, this, where the sheep are. It's, it's, okay. it's a beautiful. And they won't make you sneeze. Okay, on to this. This is so gorgeous. I was sitting there looking at this. This is from a company called Ecobo, which is a French company, but they um, produce things in Vietnam, all in bamboo. Now we seen bamboo things before, but these guys are very ecological in their business practices. Right. And, and they're dealing with uh, rural communities in Vietnam. And of course, they're sort of, they're very... But it's for knives and... For knives, yeah. Utensils, and it comes in different colors. That's yeah. a nice knife. Now, when you, yeah, actually, it's your knife. I, did, oh, I, I brought a little short knife, and uh, you know, someone said it was, wasn't <laughs> big enough. <laughs> no, but this would look so good on the counter. Oh, yes. And then I guess the red and the knife, it's kind of, yeah, that's apropos. Sure, but it comes in what colors? Red, black, gray, green. Gray. But it's just a, a big block. And I, I th we always think about bamboo. There's so much more that can be done with this material. No kidding. This is still just really bamboo that's lacquered. How do you clean it? Well, I guess we'll think about that another day. Like, well, you generally clean the knives before you put them back in. Exactly. <laughs> that's very good. You're but, these, so but these all come out, too. These things, if you turn this upside down, a couple of cu customers have actually turned this upside down, and these are all like sticks. Oh, they, the sticks inside. They're okay, sticks inside. So we can play pickup sticks you later. Pick, later. I see. Yeah, okay. so that's interesting. Well, you don't want bugs in your in your knife yeah. container. That's about know. $93 for something like that. Now, I want this uh, bag. The, that is so cool. This is from an interesting company called Red Flag Design, which is right here in Vancouver. Which I just think, when I first saw these guys, I thought they were a little bit, okay, another little local little thing. But right. they've really gone beyond that with recycled sailcloth and yes. the other material they use is canvas. And you look at their website, they're doing freaking well, cool stuff. they're from the Killam family. One is from a Killam. And of course, who do we associate with sailing? On oh, the West Coast. Okay. I didn't even know that. Killam, if you don't know that, I'll tell you all the stories later. Oh, cool. But, uh, uh, so they Great sailors. Yeah, they retain a lot of the original details of the recycled sa sails. I mean, this is very, this is like a beach bag, but they don't just do mm -hmm. beach bags. They actually do handbags. They do a number of different things. They have beautiful leather, rubber details. Um, and they make small things, too, don't they? they like make makeup bags, not that yeah. you need one. And wallets and stuff like that. It's yeah, but beach bags, and they're hearty. Yeah, and, that, and this one, you know, yeah. in the red and white, very Canadian. You know, you go to the beach. I think that feels good. It's an Olympic bag. It's an Olympic bag. Yes. Uh, the Killam and Sproul should have thought of that. Uh, could have sold it to the Olympics. We have to move because we're short of time. Oh, right. So right, we, have right. To, uh, oh, we have to, we have to go lie down. Okay. See the furniture. Let's go look. Okay. okay. So today I brought a few pieces, and I'm not sure if we're going to get a chance to get through them all. How are we doing for time? We not have to hurry. We have okay. five minutes. Just don't this talk is Benson. Too much. Uh, this is Benson. This is produced locally. This is Neil's, Neil's Benson. Benson. Inform in down the street. Great designer. Fifty thousand square feet of a factory space. This is uh, the Canyon Daybed. It's from the uh, Canyon uh, Sectional Series, I guess you'd call it. This is done in a Paul Smith. You've heard of Paul Smith, the designer. I know Paul Smith, yes. the designer. This is he was in Vancouver. Oh, yeah. I don't yes. know him. Okay, but. I know of him. You've I love shoulders. Paul Smith. Okay, That's so this, Paul Smith this fabric? This Paul Smith uh, bespoke stripe 
fabric, which you can, it's not actually that expensive. It's quite reasonable and it's great. For, you can do your whole sofa and things like this. That is fabulous. Slip covered. That's a fabulous piece. Yes, so day bed. This is about 2300 That's something. Okay, and oops. This is, oh. On we go. Emico, this is sort of a, a Philip Stark Emico piece, but it's a polished version, which makes it about twice as much as the standard uh, brushed version. Emico, you may remember, uh, Navy chair, 1940s, U.S. submarines. Yeah. Of course That's I remember that. Okay. <laughs> of course I do. Okay. Uh, but I did see uh, a Philip Stark piece in the New Fairmont Hotel in the fancy the $8,000 night suite. Oh, a yeah. base. Did you stay there? No, <laughs> okay. but I went on a tour. Oh yeah, that gold bond. This is, this is also Philip Stark, right? The, yes. This is the Hudson. He actually was someone who really helped resurrect Emico. Okay. The owner of Emico, New High Philip designs, Stark. Looks like a utilitarian chair, really not. It's yeah. a, it's an object. It's a, eighty percent recycled aluminum. Perfect it for take, Earth Day. It, yes. Perfect. Eighty percent. Okay, on to yeah. the rocker. Uh, this is probably like the quintessential classic. piece of classic mm. furniture. This is the Eames rocker. Um, dates back to the late 40s again. This is a modern day version of it done by Herman Miller. This has the true licensing for this piece. This is done in uh, polypropylene, which is totally recyclable. Herman Miller is also probably the most ecological manufacturer there is. And it fits uh, and the an adult. Too. Yes, it fits an adult. It's yes. actually originally... Herman Miller made these for the uh, pregnant mothers in, in the in the forties. So it was sort of I didn't a, know it that, was really. it was a piece behind the scenes. It was the, the rocking chair was one of those pieces that actually wasn't part of the lineup in the right. beginning, but it was there that they just it was sort of an employee only thing. But then of course, sure, it goes so from it, there. It, but it fits in that. It looks like it's a, uh, it's for a child. It's not. A lot of well, them do go in kids' but rooms. kids' rooms, <laughs> of course. Yes. The trendy child will have uh, an Eames rocker, of course. Absolutely. This is Prince George. Is this the guy in Prince George? Yeah, or Prince Rupert? Sean Prince Place, George. Prince George, which is, um, he just sort of came in to us one day, and here's a guy with no formal training, and who is who does, he weaves all this himself, he does all the woodwork himself, he's got this great shop out there, he's got a great little website coming together. Uh, it's unbelievably great. talented, and we saw a few generations of this. Like we do, so uh, often a designer will come in and we'll sort of go, "This guy's kind of got some this talent," and we we work with him, give him some feedback. It's beautiful and then carry wood. The piece. It's comfortable. That is a great piece, and it's from BC. It's from BC. Earth Day. Earth Day. It's the Earth Day rocker. <laughs> the Earth Day rocker. And this. This is like top uh, of the made line. Made in British Columbia. Made yeah. where? This uh, no, not made in British. This comes from England. This is something a little a little bit overseas, but. This is Tom Dixon. I was originally going to do this whole thing on Tom Dixon because Tom Dixon is a really, uh, he's a bit of a purist. And right. he works with a lot of things. Well, he'll do these beat lights, for instance, that are pounded brass, made in India, but they're modern shapes. Ooh. This one is a modern chair, but it's made by a very old uh, furniture make maker named uh, George Smith, which is an 18th century furniture maker. So it's made from... Uh, sustainable beech wood, you've got the uh, hand-tied mm. steel coil springs, you've got the canvas strapping, There's, it's cotton, it's all, sort of, it's all old, old school stuff, but made into a modern piece. Well, I think Alice in Wonderland should sit in this. Oh, well, yes, of course. <laughs> Don't you? Yes. No, <laughs> is it, but is it comfortable? It actually is quite comfortable. It's, it's, it's quite firm, and it's, there's, it's because there's no foam in it, but it's something right. that is, this will be around, it's an antique to have around for it's, generations. It's really interesting chair, and I like the fabric. It's quite, it's, yes, It's plushy. not fuzzy, but it's plushy. Plushy. Yes. I thank you, as always. <laughs> always a delight to see you, Mr. Design Guy. Thank you, Fanny. And tomorrow, Professor Theatre Critic Jerry Wasserman takes us to some live stage productions in our town. Rumor has it, you must see My Granny the Goldfish. And we meet a young couple who's fundraising for the Ugandan Village Project. Their mission is to save African children from abuse, starvation, abandonment, and a lack of education. And when mountains blow their tops, we talk fire and brimstone and ash in the air with a local vul vulcanist? Vulcanologist. Vulcanist? Not sure. What goes up must come down. Thanks for watching Studio 4. There will be lots more on Shaw TV, only on Shaw TV.